Hi, it's uh, Marty Gunderson here with Quidney Lifestyle Design. I'm getting a few questions on the process of taking your lot from bare bones, nothing on it, to a beautiful villa where you're living in it or you're renting it out. So let me walk through with you just that process, step by step, how to get to that point. All right. So the first step uh, to locking your lot is the preliminary agreement. And so this agreement is basically a reservation bond. So we, we typically ask for $50,000 as a uh, refundable deposit. And what that will do, that will lock in your lot and then we can have a discussion on uh, a number of things like, you know, what if you want solar panels, if you want um, what sort of villa would you like? Uh, some of the elements, furniture, finishing packages and all that sort of thing. So we'll go through that whole thing, but we lock in your lot to, so that you know that uh, you're not going to lose it. So that, that's the first step. And, it, and depending on how long that goes, I, I mean, I, I would think that's maybe two to three weeks as far as a timeline to get through that phase. And then once we finish that, once we kind of all come to an agreement on what you're looking for, uh, pricing and all, all that regard, uh, we will go through the purchasing of the lot. Now, in, in effect, there's actually uh, two, two parts to this transaction. There's the purchasing of the lot and there's also the construction agreement they, and they work in concert. Uh, and the reason why we do that is because um, in Turks and Caicos, you, you actually pay a stamp tax on the real estate. So if we, if we separate that and we have just the real estate uh, as the purchase, uh, it's significantly uh, lower stamp tax than if you were to buy the full house and, and have that uh, encouraged. Um, and so that is the uh, that's the process. And right now uh, the lots are, you know, between two twenty five and two fifty. Uh, and and so that and it's whatever the market value is for that. So we'll look at your total price for your home and then take off the value of the lot uh, again to save some stamp tax. Uh, and then we'll, and then we'll, the remaining amount uh, from the the final value of, of the purchase price will go into this um, this construction agreement. And so let let's say for just as for easy numbers, let's say if you're buying the house for one point seven five million, uh, if we're saying the lot value is two fifty, then the construction agreement will include uh, one point five million for the construction amount and uh, in this agreement there'll be milestones so uh, you know there's going to be a deposit uh, to start construction once once we uh, once we do that and then on each process there'll be milestones so for example once we once we get the floor slab uh, laid there's a percentage uh, that's going to be required to uh, to pay uh, the next uh, milestone would be the roofing, for example. So through each step of the way and each milestone we pay, we ask for a set uh, amount of money. And that's all outlined in the construction agreement. So once we have the construction agreement uh, signed, we will go through uh, the, uh, the permit process. And in Turks and Caicos, it, it could take, uh, you know, four to six weeks, let's say. Uh, and and here, there, there's actually a, a two-step process. So we, we first get your design development permit, uh, DDP, uh, which is kind of an outline of the project. And then the next step after that would be an actual building permit. So once we get that building permit, we can clear the land. We can go through the whole process of uh, starting to build. So this is uh, this is what uh, typically takes. Um, the the minute that we have the building permit, we like to start construction, get that going as soon as possible. Uh, where again we clear the land uh, and start uh, start digging for footings and and all that good stuff. And uh, what we do is we, we 
we keep uh, our clients in a loop um, in a lot of ways, actually in three specific ways. So we put a, a camera on the, uh, on the land so you'll actually be able to see uh, in real time uh, the construction of your villa, uh, which is quite exciting. Uh, the, the second way we do that is we do monthly meetings, uh, um, all, either uh, in person if you're if you happen to be on island, or uh, most of the time it's through Zoom, and we just go through what's happening with the uh, with the build and and some of the uh, progress we're making, some of the challenges uh, if we have any, and and we go through that. Uh, and then the third way we actually have project management software where there's ongoing uh, decisions that being made, like for example, type of cabinets, type of handles, uh, so many different uh, um, uh, questions that we kind of go through. So we'll have that as a engaging way of uh, just communicating back and forth on what what your uh, what ultimately what your house is going to look like. So uh, there's a lot of monitoring, uh, client monitoring, which which we like. I think it's important to have the clients engaged as much as possible. Uh, and so that that's the that's the construction uh, period, and depending on what you're building, like the Lavina, which is our one story, uh, is um, you know I, I would suspect that would take maybe uh, ten months to build, uh, and then uh, but if you're building say our um, our Agung a villa uh, two story six bedroom, that might be uh, pushing 14, 15 months. Uh, so that that's the uh, that's kind of the timeline. So I uh, again I would say between ten to fifteen months as far as the the timeline there. Um, and then once we get uh, occupancy certificate, the punch list is confirmed and and completed, uh, and you can live in the house or you you want to rent it out. Uh, we can set up a rental arrangement, a rental agreement. Uh, whereas we manage uh, all the short-term rentals, you don't have to do a thing, and we'll uh, we'll manage that. So we'll go through that process where we we put together the agreements and we do all the photos, and uh, and then start marketing your home, and uh, we set up a calendar so that when you're obviously wanting to stay, that will be locked in, and you, and nobody can uh, take that from you. So uh, that's the whole process. Um, so it, it's. As you can see, I, I you know I think it's reasonable to think that uh, you know it's maybe eighteen months uh, uh, between I would say maybe twelve to eighteen months depending on uh, different factors on the complete build from a bare lot to living in your villa. All right, if you have any other questions, again please feel free to call me, email me, or leave a comment uh, below. Thanks again. Take care. Hi, thanks for listening. If you like our videos, feel free to subscribe and click on that notification button so you don't miss any more. And if you like it, give a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to put your comment below and we'll engage and interact with you, happy to. Also, if you're looking at actually building your beach haven in Turks and Caicos, we have a free resource called a project planning guide. So download it at the link below. Thanks again, take care.